When you hear the name Kosovo, it probably doesn't conjure much imagery. You go to Google Earth, you type it in, you probably still leave confused. The capital, Pristina, is a perfect place to begin a trek down through Macedonia into northern Greece. I'm not here for that this time, though. I'm here to do shows to support the multinational forces stationed at Camp Bondsteel. This is Big Hud. He's my buddy who runs the weapons training on the camp, and today he's showing me, along with my fellow comedians, the ins and outs of the M16. Alright, so once again, to load the magazine out, wait till I tell you the command to load, put your magazine in, pull the charging out to the rear, and let go, it's already ready to fire. Your first magazine has six shots, the next one has seven, and the third one has nine. 22 shots total, six, seven, nine. Before you bristle and burst and accuse me of glorifying gun violence for the sake of entertainment, know two things. One, this is indescribably fun so you can stuff your politics. And two, I hope you get eaten first in the zombie apocalypse. I'm training here. Do I have to join the military now? Uh, yeah, you can join if you want. I did not kill those <laughs> I did shoot two innocents, right? <laughs> Alright, so I just got word that we were about to go out on a Black Hawk and uh, take a ride over Kosovo. And they asked us if we just wanted to see the country from above or if we wanted to see what a Black Hawk can really do. Those are two different things. And I don't know what to expect. Sometimes these rides are a little tame and you get to see the scenery and sometimes these rides are incredibly intense because these guys want to show off what these birds can do. We're going on Black Hawk's ball. What's that, like a boat? Yeah, in the sky. Cool. <laughs> what they're gonna end up doing is taking you up to the terrain flight training area. Uh, they'll be right low among the trees, flying into the valleys for the a little bit of the hills that are just a bit north of here. And then after that, they'll come back and hopefully be able to get you up around Mount Duke. It's like 8,400 feet at the peak, so it's right around 9,000 by the time you show up. We touched down on the highest point in Kosovo. It's like 8,400 feet, 8,000 feet maybe. <laughs> and I've done a lot of stuff, man, but it makes me happy to know that they can still drop my jaw. <laughs> oh, like I'm still like wobbly on the inside. So we have a show tonight. Actually, I have a show in about two hours. We're in the theater on base that I haven't played yet. It's a different room. Bond Steel hosts contingents from 33 different nations, including Turkey, Croatia, Poland, Texas, and my favorites, the Danish. Crazy people. How'd you get out six months? You just left? All right. How'd you get out? Battle axe? <laughs> <laughs> you just put her on a boat, pushed her out, and shot a flaming arrow in her ass. Is that how you... <laughs> she was my shield maiden. <laughs> The Danes enjoyed the show so much they showed back up for a second show at another undisclosed location. It was Halloween night and we got to crash the on-base Halloween party. Here Paul Odo has a little bit of fun with the realities of a remote deployment. And you know who I really feel sorry for? The party planning committee. It's like, how much do we got for this Halloween party? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna believe. IG! You have to trust that beard! 
Thanks, guys. <laughs> I sold you. You should have videoed that one.